This morning, there was a major breakthrough in the scientific community, one that experts believe could change the future of energy. Our Isabel Lawrence spoke with local experts about the latest in nuclear fusion. Simply put, this is one of the most impressive scientific feats of the 21st century. At the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California, scientists achieved fusion ignition, something they hope can change the future of energy. It starts with a process called nuclear fusion, which actually powers the sun and stars. It occurs when you have two nuclei uh, that, that combine, that fuse together to form a much heavier uh, nucleus. And at that point, it generates, it, it actually gives off an enormous amount of energy. To make that happen, scientists fired 192 lasers at a capsule holding two isotopes of hydrogen, causing an implosion and the release of energy. And what they did for the first time was they got more energy out than they put into it. Basically, scientists generated more energy than they used in the process. And the potential of harnessing that energy is what excites Professor Cyrus Taylor at Case Western Reserve University. Clean, limitless power uh, to, to basically power mankind. And once we've achieved that, right, um, then we don't have to worry about fossil fuels anymore. Right, this will be the basis for our civilization for the next million years. Having a cleaner source of power that scientists can generate is something John Dar Bradshaw with the Great Lakes Science Center says can be a game changer. By being able to use nuclear fusion reactors, we'll be able to use that power generation tool to make electricity that we can use to power most everything that we know. Now, the harnessing and commercialization of this energy won't happen overnight. It will still likely be years until it can be used. However, Professor Taylor says there are a number of private companies looking into this technology as well, and we can expect more in the future. Ah, pretty amazing stuff. Isabel Lawrence, thank you.